thing. Tell us what makes Covenant Healthcare a unique asset to our region. We have a moniker that we say, Extraordinary Care for Every Generation. It's a locally owned, um, independent healthcare system. So literally the people who live and breathe walking around the organization are the same people that are living and breathing outside the four walls <laughs> in the community. We have about 5,000 people that work in the organization, so that's a remarkable thing. Are there any other services that you all are working on growing uh, for the future? Um, we have some services here that are not provided any other place um, through the Great Lakes Bay region. We literally have services that provide a full scope and range of caregiving, everything from the smallest of our babies, our neonatal <laughs> babies, um, all the way up to geriatric care. Tell us a little bit about some of the important relationships Covenant has mm -hmm. inside as well as outside mm -hmm. within the community. We have an incredible culture here. Um, it's established on the We Care values, and one of those things is working together, and we've kind of taken that a step further so it's not just always inside the four walls and the entity of Covenant proper but we've also leveraged relationships outside the organization. In Grand Rapids there was Mary Freebed Rehabilitation yeah. Hospital and so they're world renowned and recognized for rehabilitation medicine so we forged a partnership with them and then built a brand new asset yeah. um, here and now we have that world-class um, care that's provided right here in the Great Lakes Bay region and that's really just a tremendous way to leverage a partnership. Now can you kind of explain the backstory behind Mary Freebed itself? We'll get to the joint venture with Covenant but can you explain explain that for us? The Mary Freebed Guild started with a group of women back in 1891. They got together and they wanted to provide health care to those who couldn't afford it. And so what they did is they took a little black purse out in the community and they passed it around and they asked for anyone um, whose name was Mary or who knew someone whose name was Mary to donate 10 cents into the purse. And eventually they were able to save up enough money um, to provide a free bed at a hospital for those who couldn't afford it. Well, you have this new facility here. How do you think that helps you guys uh, reach more patients? Um, so we are the biggest um, rehab hospital um, in Northern Michigan. And it, because we expanded when we moved to this new building, um, we expanded from 41 beds to 60 beds, which is all private rooms. And so it allows us to provide care to more patients, not just patients that are at Covenant Hospital, mm -hmm. but through any patients throughout the region, throughout the state. Okay. Yeah. Well, you say there's state-of-the-art equipment. Is there any that you can show us? Yeah, so right here to um, my left is our, um, it's called a Zero-G. And so this is an unweighing system. You put a, um, a harness on the patient and then you hook that harness up to this system and they're able to walk. Well, thank you so much, Sally. Was there anything else that you'd like to add? We have a lot of rehab services in Saginaw and then throughout the Great Lakes Bay region, we have physical and occupational therapy clinics in Hemlock, Frankenmuth, Bay City, and then two others in Saginaw Township. So a lot of, lot, you know, hopefully we're close to home.